So that's maps. Now let me show you video. Video is wonderful. Uh, let's go to YouTube. And uh, I'm going to pick a clip uh, called Wet and Woofy that I know is in uh, high def on YouTube. And here it is. And again, I can even go uh, full screen here. Go into landscape. Look at that. That's off of YouTube. Isn't that incredible? All right. So that's YouTube. And again, here's uh, related clips and more from that person. And again, whether it's in portrait or landscape, it uh, just all works. And of course, videos. Let's go into landscape for this. And we've got movies, TV shows, music videos. You know, so I can go into a TV show like Modern Family as an example, pick an episode, and watch it. Let me go that, let's do that with a movie. Let's pick Star Trek. And uh, let's go to chapters. Oh, what's a good one? You know, here we go. And again, I can scrub through if I want to. Yeah. If you are presuming that these experiences in any way impede my ability to command this ship, you are mistaken. And yet you were the one who said fear was necessary for command. Isn't that nice? Did, did you see? Let's go back, pick another movie that I love, which is Up. Awesome movie. And... Uh, one of my favorite sequences ever in any movie is this uh, sequence in Up right here. And you can tap to fill the screen if you'd like. Isn't that wonderful? So that is video on the iPad. And that gives you a little bit of an overview as to what the iPad can do. Isn't that awesome? yeah. I have to say though, watching it is nothing like getting one in your hands and feeling all of that just right right in your hands and right underneath your fingertips. So, let's go back to the hardware a little bit. The iPad is really thin. It's a half an inch thin. And it weighs just one and a half pounds. That is thinner and lighter than any netbook. And it's got a gorgeous 9.7 inch IPS display. Super high quality display using IPS technology so you get great angle of view as well. Very high quality display. And as you know, Apple builds the best capacitive multi-touch sensors in the world. Married to our great display, it's terrific. Super responsive, super precise. iPad is powered by our own custom silicon. We have an incredible group that does custom silicon at Apple. We have a chip called A4, which is our most advanced chip we've ever done, that powers the iPad. It's got the processor, the graphics, the I.O., the memory controller, everything in this one chip, and it screams. And you can have 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of flash solid-state storage inside the iPad. It's got the latest in wireless networking, Wi-Fi 802.11n, and the latest Bluetooth 2.1. And the usual suspects, accelerometer, compass, speaker, microphone. It's got a 30-pin connector, so it plugs into the whole ecosystem of iPod accessories. And it's got battery. What is the battery life of this remarkable device? 
we've been able to achieve 10 hours of battery life. It's one and a half pound of ice. 10 hours of battery life, which means I can take a flight from San Francisco to Tokyo and watch video the whole way on one charge. It's pretty nice. And in addition to 10 hours of battery life, it has over a month of standby life. So we could just set the iPad down, it would go to sleep automatically. We'd come back in a month, it would still have charge. It's remarkable. Environmentally, the iPad's a great citizen. It's arsenic-free, bromide flame retardant-free, mercury-free, PVC-free, and its aluminum and glass enclosure is highly recyclable. So that's a little bit of an overview of the iPod's hardware. Now, let's go back to software. We've seen some great built-in applications, some all-new built-in applications. But now let's talk about third-party applications. Let's talk about the App Store. And to help me do that, I'd like to invite up Scott Forrestal, our Senior Vice President of iPhone Software. Scott. Thanks,